why you think it took a Royal Commission mm. to provoke that kind of critical self-examination? It's a good question. We dealt with this matter very poorly. Uh, it reflects badly. I wouldn't describe that as the primary failure. That is one of the failures. A failure, unfortunately, that's been repeated. I, I want to ask you about the board's request that the former chair return 40% of the fees that he earned in his final year at CBA. The former chair um, did not agree to return any of his <laughs> fees. For some of these customers, the fees that they are being remediated for relate to fees that they were charged as long as 11 years ago. That's correct. That ASIC staff numbers and budget have increased relatively modestly. Uh, yes, modestly would be a good description. We never had a purpose. And our chairman and myself led that work inside the company to work out what is our purpose. It sounds so complicated when you say it, but you're a bank. Presumably your purpose is to be a bank, is it? <laughs> yeah. But you know, I have wondered whether in, in this case, NAB should not have, years ago, funded some of our customers to take us to this place, to this federal court. To sue NAB? Yes. Why should you need someone to sue NAB so you can sort these things out? How does a culture develop where anybody thinks it's okay to charge money for a service and not provide the service. I don't think I have an answer to that, Mr Hodge. I think some sort of ritualistic public shaming of individuals would be of little value. Can I su suggest to you that it's not so much about a public shaming, it's just a part of holding them accountable.